Okay guys, I'm back and it's the next day and I have twisted my hair already. Um, and then I just have this one section. So I'm gonna do that on camera and um, just, I don't know, talk about the protective style journey. So how are you guys doing? How are you doing with your protective style journey? Um, this is the first time in a couple of weeks that I've done twists. So the last time I did twists was uh, right before the Christmas holiday. Um, so like the 22nd through the new year, on the new year, on New Year's Day, I think or New Year's Eve, I washed my hair and then did, I think I did a wash and go because I was kind of so tired of the, I don't know, looking the same with the twists. I guess cause I'm a, like a, a boring twister. Like I'm not trying anything new um, and I should because I said I would, but um, it just takes a minute and I've tried flat twisting um, and I have not mastered that yet. So um, I just want to not get done with my hair, but not really practice, if that makes sense. Like I have a purpose, like to do my hair, to be patient with it and then to not become frustrated because twisting my hair, I, twisting like flat twisting or trying to flat twist, I become frustrated um, because I don't know how to do it. And so I think um, someone told me, I think it was Jen J. She has this, uh, Jen Jackson, she has this tutorial on how to flat twist and she says to start with small sections. And I basically started with, side note, I'm using this oil. Um, I started with two huge sections. So I wanted, you know, you split your hair down the middle and I wanted two flat twists, like, Dutch type looking braids, but they were twists. And so, um, and that was just too thick. My hair became very tangled. And so I wanted to do that as a protective style for just a week, um, but that didn't work out. And then I just kind of did the flat twist, not the flat twist, I kind of did the braids. So I would do four chunky braids, one, two, three, four. Um, so that's what I've been doing as of late. So the last two times that I washed my hair, um, this last time I washed my hair, You'll, you've seen in the clip before this, I just went to bed with it in the four twists, but then decided to do it in, I went to bed with the four braids or plaits, and then I decided to get up and do twists to kind of see if I like the um, twist out from, this. So the twist out, I don't know, it's, it doesn't give a lot of hold and I know that already. I know that, and I'm just gonna wash it off. And this is, I hate to, I guess, give a lot of disclaimers, but this is like vlog style. So, um, what was I about to say? This has no hold. So this is a moisture milk and it's very moisturizing. I found at the crown of my head, it was a little bit less defining, but that's just the crown of my head. Um, but yeah, smells like cupcakes and we're right here. I think we were like 
two times this much. I think we were like here yesterday. So I still have um, another use. Maybe if I, maybe if I wait two weeks to do my hair, I don't know. And then re style it with this, it'll be all gone. I don't know, or maybe just use this another day or use this as a leave-in for the curl maker that I have. But yeah, so this is my hair. It's wet now. And you can kind of see some of the products. I wanted to try this edge. This edge gel to see if it works and then film another video. This is the only edge gel or control case that I would like to use on my edges when it comes to, when it comes to um, using this on my hair. And that's because like gel gels, it caused flakes. And I found that this actually doesn't cause flakes. Like, I don't know how it's gonna react with this, um, this Camille Rose product, but I just want to put a little on and I won't do a lot, but just a little something to my edges and so this is how I just add the edge control I also add it to my parts sometimes and because my hair is washed I feel a little tingle it has rosemary before I did not, I think because my hair was not washed and I was on like dirty hair, but now that I'm on clean hair, I feel a little tingle, which is nice. Seems like it's working. So I'm just going to get my toothbrush and do some edges. Nothing major, just make it a little neater because this product has no hold, meaning the um, the moisture milk has no hold, which is fine. Just get my edges. And it says, it claims, this product claims I really hope it doesn't um, mess my hair up. It's too late now. Yeah, so it looks neater. Um, but yeah, what is this claim? Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel is infused with biotin and encourages growth. So apply gel to edges and smooth with fingertips to brush for desired uh, or brush for desired hold. Sleek nourished edges are now in reach. This nutrient-rich nutrient formulation not only tames unruly edges, but also provides the hair with intense shine, hydration, and nutrients to support healthy edge growth. No parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no DEA, no animal testing. So yeah, I like the way my edges look. Um, they don't look like slick slick, but they look less, yeah, I know. I don't know if you know, but I'm about to um, tie these down. And uh, that's basically it. So leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this protective style journey so far that you're on, if you're on it. Um, if you're not on it, uh, that's cool too. You can just watch 
um, videos on products and see how products work for twist outs because I usually um, show you how my hair looks after I take it out or if I don't show you how my hair looks I'll tell you like how the twist out if it's good for a twist out um, I don't know if I told you what oil I used I'm all over the place but I use the Shea Moisture 100% um, Pure Argan Oil. It's a head to toe soothing oil, a multitasking oil rich in essential fatty acids and antioxidant vitamins. Helps keep hair and skin um, smooth for a youthful appearance. And so this is just pure or argan oil. I didn't want to put anything from uh any other brand on it and i use most of it on my ends so they can stay moisturized but i did put it on the length of my hair after i put this on my hair so if you're into oils that's what i did if you're not then just disregard that step because there are oils in here macadamia oil so you really don't need it. I just do it for the added protection because I feel like my hair is more moisturized when I do add a little oil. Um, and when I, when I mean little, just literally a drop of oil per each section. Um, but yeah, my hair looks really good, really shiny. And um, yeah, no complaints. So... What else? What else? I've still been using my aloe vera uh, juice. I'm almost out. I have another, uh, I have a little bottle. Um, but yeah, I'm also still using my bonnet, which I love. So shout out again to Humble Glow. I use this bonnet and it's very luxury. It's, um, double sided I don't know if you can you can I guess use both sides if you want the black look um or not but the right way to use it is the pattern way and with this in the front however if you've seen my initial video on this I put the bow in the front and have the label in the back but that's just my personal preference um i'm gonna try to let my hair dry a little bit it looks really good like it really does um and yeah so i think that's it and it's dry that's what i'll do i'll show you why my hair is dry and um keep it moving so we can keep this content going so this is my hair I still have this part, which I don't care about. I do not care about this part. Oh, I was planning on um, maybe twisting my hair back like this. I don't know. I don't know, to kind of keep it like tucked and out of the way. I do know that that causes like indentions in my hair. So the twist out won't look as good if I do that. Um, or I could do that initially. I don't know, it kind of stretches out your hair so the twist out doesn't look as juicy. So I may not do that. I may just use some satin scrunchies and just pull my hair up or back for this week or so. Um, but yeah, nothing major going on with the protective style journey. Just continuing, um, just continuing. I do um, have an announcement, the um, I am a Mish affiliate. So if you're interested in Mish beauty products, um, you just have to use my code Jamie10, J-A-M-I-E 10, the number 10, and you can receive 10% off of your order or click the link below in the description box. Um, go straight to the link. 
um, and you'll get 10% off of your purchase at Mish. Um, I know I'm shouting out Mish while I'm doing the Camille Rose, but this is a hair vlog and that's just, it, it just is what it is. Um, and this is my channel. So I really love their products as well. And so I reached out to them um, because they have this affiliate program program, and applied and they, you know, you have to have certain criteria on your um, page, your Instagram page. So this is not sponsored by Mish at all. I'm just sharing um, over here but the content will be on Instagram basically, but I can document it here too um, because it's not sponsored here on YouTube. Um, but I'm saying all of, that, all of that to say, I get a commission, 10% off of all, um, off of all purchases using my code. So that'll help me out tremendously. I personally think I'm going to buy some stuff for myself, like maybe some wash and go things. I think they're sending me some things, but I told them like the products that I love and I think that they're sending me the products that I love, not necessarily the new products that I haven't tried. So it can be just an authentic, um, an authentic push of the products because I'm not the type, I don't push products that I don't love. Like if I don't like it, I'll say I don't like it or, you know, I'll be like, eh, you know what I mean? But I talk about Mish a lot and um, I just thought that it would be fitting to get some type of code for you guys who want to save some coin. If you purchase Mish outside of the times that they have sales, if you just are the type to, you know, purchase a product and you don't have to have a sale, um, I'm always looking for a sale, so maybe that can be like, you know, taxes off or shipping price taken care of. Um, so just letting you know that. So that's new with me and um, just really trying to be consistent with my content. So if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what type of content you want to see um, from little old me. My hair looks so good. I don't think that it's showing. The camera is not giving it justice. Like, look at how juicy. So I just woke up and um, took off my bonnet love this um but yeah so i'm just going to show you my hair completely dry it's so shiny it's shrunken but this is using the camille rose uh, moisture milk so shrunken so shrunken so what i'll probably do is um put it back like this or probably keep my scarf on throughout the day and yeah so i think this is the last part of the video um of the hair vlog and i'll come back um next time and show you it's so moisturized like low-key i felt like my face was greasy or oily because my hair was so moisturized but maybe i just need to wash my face <laughs> anyway uh yeah i think that's it so thank you so 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 much for watching thank you so much for my newbies thank you for my old but goodies i see you i see you thank you for every comment every like um that's it